Welcome inside the Scotiabank Arena. You're looking at a live shot right now of Raptors Chris Boucher getting in a little warm up before the Toronto Raptors host the Charlotte Hornets in their first of two matches here inside the Scotiabank Arena this week. The Raps, they're hoping to build off of their momentum from their win against Portland on Sunday. And speaking of momentum, there are two Canadian sisters who have been building momentum towards Team Canada's National 3x3 program. Their names, Michelle and Catherine Plouffe, and right now they are ranked first and third in the World FIBA World Rankings for 3x3 competition. Um, yeah, it's just very humbling. Um, it's so awesome just to see how far our team has come uh, in the last few years, and just to have individual recognition is always uh, fun, but just to have it along with team success is, is really the most important thing. Michelle. Michelle H2O. Twin sisters Catherine and Michelle Plouffe took a leap of faith in 2019, retiring from competing for the senior women's national team, leaving the team after around a decade of service, including representing Canada at the Summer Olympics in Rio back in 2016, now moving their dedication to the new 3x3 format, which became an official Olympic sport in 2020. But it was definitely an adventure. Uh, I, I wasn't so nervous. I was just like, okay, let's do it and figure things out along the way. I think that was helpful for Michelle's personality to come in is that she was like, we'll figure it out, don't worry about it. Whereas I was like, we need to know the details. You talk about that sisterhood, the bond, but obviously you're both individuals that have had your own journey, but how has it been helpful to have your sister with you? Oh man, so helpful. Um, like my best, my favorite teammate for sure, just because I know how hard she works. Like I know her mindset is, is built on trusting her teammates um, and you know she's obviously one of my best friends so that's helpful to go into a new environment to be in an adventure together and to um, learn a, a lot about how to lead a team how to lead yourself when family's involved it always just makes it more meaningful just because those are your closest relationships so it's just it's just been a privilege and a blessing to do it and to do it together it's been awesome since 2019, they've won multiple gold medals and tournaments for Canada, breaking records and setting new standards for the format along the way. And we're just building. So I'm just proud of, of what we were able to accomplish this last season. It was a big summer. It was a lot, um, but we won a lot, so it was pretty fun. Aside from dominating in the 3x3 tournaments, the sisters, who just turned 30 in September, have been hosting their own basketball camps to help encourage young women to try sports and also build their confidence. I'm really passionate about building them up to be great outside of basketball or in their lives. So um, I'm just using you know, what I've been blessed with in basketball to hopefully pass on to someone and add value is just what, is what we try to do with those camps. So I hope someone gets something out of it. Both Michelle and Catherine's goal for this year is to qualify for the upcoming Paris Olympics in 2024. Now, I have a couple sports notes for you, starting off with the Blue Jays. They announced today that they had acquired right-handed pitcher Zach Thompson from the Pittsburgh Pirates and made it official. They signed infielder, infielder Brandon Belt on a one-year contract. Now, right now, you're seeing Gary Trent Jr., Juancho Hernan Gomez. They're getting up some final shots. Now, as for their teammate, Otto Porter Jr., the Raptors announced that he has undergone season-ending surgery on his foot. He signed with the Raptors back in July of this year and because of injury was only able to play eight games for the Raptors this season.